now let us try to see the cost graph but before that i will uh, try to show you the excel that i have created and then we will show the graph okay so what we are saying is this is an example of the total cost sheet okay we have so what we are saying is you are paying salary to the labor per day you are paying 40 dollar as a salary and the company's planned fixed cost per day is dollar 100 okay now what we are doing is you are initially increasing the number of the workers so initially your number of worker was zero then it became one two three like that so this company is engaged in the production of pen okay so what is the output per pen so we have the number of workers we have output per pen initially the number of worker was zero so your output per pen was also zero then you have the marginal product marginal output per next level that is your you are employing additional labor what is the marginal output so think about when the number of worker is one you have hired one additional worker the output became 100 so your marginal output is 100 okay when you hire two worker it became second worker it became 105 total fixed cost please know that a total fixed cost will remain the same here we are not considering any quasi fixed cost all the fixed costs are considered okay so quasi fixed costs are not being considered then total variable cost now what are the variable cost over here please note that when you are manufacturing pen okay you also require raw material etc okay but what i have considered is i ignore the raw material cost the variable cost i have only considered the wages okay so when you hire one additional worker the labor is costing 40 per day so your variable cost is 40 when you hire two worker your variable cost is 2 into 40 80 right so this is your total variable cost note that this is also done on a per day basis so this is output per day this is a total variable cost per day right so the total cost is a sum of total fixed cost plus total variable cost so even when you are not producing any quantity zero your total cost was 100 okay when you are producing 100 quantity your total cost is 140 and it is you see that it is increasing why because your variable cost keeps on increasing it is dependent on the number of worker the more worker is hired the more is the total variable cost and hence the total cost next we'll introduce the concept of marginal cost okay so marginal cost is the additional cost of so the marginal cost so it's a marginal cost per labor okay so the marginal cost additional cost that you are hiring per labor so if you see it is the additional cost is how much when you hired one worker 140 minus 100 40 180 minus 140 40 it means that when you are hiring additional worker you are paying one more worker salary so every day your cost is increased by per 40 dollar right now marginal cost we want to bring per additional pen that is what is the number of additional pen that is being produced and okay what is the additional cost that come see here the marginal output is 100 okay and your marginal cost is 40 that means when you are producing one additional unit your additional cost comes as 0.4 so how i have done here is in the excel i say that this 40 divided by 100 right so this is 0.4 okay next is you are hiring one more worker your marginal output is 105 right so what is the marginal cost additional cost is 40 divided by 105 so it is 40 by 105.381 so what you see here is that as you hire more and more worker your output per day it is increasing your marginal output is increasing you see that it is increasing but i have marked this as a yellow okay see it is increasing till here okay till here and beyond that it is decreasing so our marginal output is increasing and you see that the additional cost is remaining constant your marginal cost is this divided by this so 0.4 and since this marginal output is increasing you find that your marginal cost keeps on decreasing so you find that it is decreased till here okay 0.296 so from 0.4 you started it ended at 0.296 but what happened is that when the marginal output it decreased okay you find that your marginal cost that is the addi per additional output it has increased right so this is the point where it is increasing okay next we bring the concept of average fixed cost okay what is the average fixed cost it is the fixed cost divided by the total output 
since your total output is always increasing see your total output is always increasing you will find that your average fixed cost is always falling see this initially it is 100 by 100 100 divided by 205 like that so what we do is we are dividing 100 total fixed cost divided by the output see here 100 divided by 205 so you find that this is always decreasing okay then we bring the concept of average variable cost now what can be said about the average variable cost note that it can increase or decrease so please see when so what is the average variable cost average variable cost is total variable cost divided by the total output okay right so you find that initially it is your total variable cost is 40 divided by 100 so 0.4 next day it became 80 divided by 205 so it decreased so initially it starts decreasing okay then your total variable cost was 360 divided by 1060 so it again decreased okay and again you see that even though what has happened is a marginal output has started decreasing your total variable cost is still decreasing here also it has decreased but this is the point that it has started increasing so here also it decreased now what is the reason for decrease the reason for decrease is very very simple here also that the moment okay this if the marginal cost is less than the average variable cost your average variable cost will decrease see this marginal cost 0.308 this is the average variable cost it is lesser so you find that the next immediately it has decreased 66 this is 645 this has become 613 but here what has happened is this 333 okay you find that okay this is still lower right so ideally it is it is decreasing okay so the moment it becomes more than this see yeah, you compare this with the previous one it is lower then you find it is decreasing okay this and this you compare this is 663613 this is 364 it is higher so you'll find that your average variable cost will increase so what you are doing is marginal cost you will compare with the previous variable cost if it is lower you'll find that the average variable cost will reduce compare this with this one it is 333 it is 3645 still this is lower so you'll find that it will decrease compare this with this this is 364 this is 33613 so it is higher so you'll find that this has gone up right so till mc is less than abc your average variable cost is going to reduce that is the idea right so this is the point so actually it starts decreasing from here okay so it is not from here right so that is your average variable cost now what is your average total cost okay now can i say that average total cost will always reduce no please note that this average fixed cost is always reducing average variable cost can reduce can increase okay right so this will also reduce and then it will increase so initially it is reducing okay now till when it will reduce okay so please understand that it will reduce till the point your marginal cost is lower than the average total cost see here your marginal cost was 0.348 compare with this previous one okay marginal cost is lower you will find that it will decrease okay here also if you see the average very total cost is 447 marginal cost is 308 it will decrease okay then we saw here also you find that 0.364 this was 0.42 it is decreasing okay now see here 0.4.1415.4 it is lower it will decrease but this c 444 in previous variable average total cost was 414 it is 444 that means your marginal cost is greater than the average total cost you will find that the average total cost will increase that is the idea so what we do is okay we try to understand the first total cost okay so total cost total cost will keep on increasing okay total variable cost will keep on increasing total fixed cost will keep remain constant so total fixed cost is remaining constant total variable cost is increasing so as a result total cost is increasing note that you here you find the distance between the total cost and total variable cost so total cost 
if i see this equation and i bring this here this becomes total fixed cost so total cost minus total variable cost this is the total cost minus total variable cost this is equal to total fixed cost so this will also be x so this distance and this distance are exactly the same then we bring the concept of average total cost is equal to average fixed cost plus average variable cost we have seen that average fixed cost will always be decreasing always be decreasing okay then you have the concept of marginal cost marginal cost initially decreases and then it starts increasing okay now what we say is the moment your marginal cost is lesser than your average variable cost your average variable cost will also reduce see here the marginal cost is this this is your average variable cost the marginal cost is lower than the average variable cost so in each of this point you see that marginal cost is less than the average this is your cost on y axis you have the cost average variable cost is higher than the marginal cost so for all this point it is lower so your average variable cost keeps on reducing this point what you find is okay this has become equal and after that your marginal cost is increasing so if your marginal cost has become more than average variable cost your average variable cost will also increase okay now one of the thing that you need to understand is this the marginal cost the point where marginal cost is equal to the average variable cost that point you will find that average variable cost is minimum why it is called as minimum because see if marginal cost is more than average variable cost okay your average variable cost will increase if marginal cost is less than average variable cost it will decrease right so the point of both being same you will find your average variable cost is the minimum similarly the point where marginal so be, also understand if marginal cost is lower than average total cost your average total cost will reduce see here the marginal cost is lower it is reducing marginal cost is lower it is reducing the point where it starts increasing the marginal cost if it is more than the average total cost your average total cost will increase so again this is the point okay where it is your average total cost is minimum please remember so one of the thing that you need to know is this marginal cost curve it cuts the average variable cost and average total cost at their minima so these two points are the minimum of avc this is the minimum of atc okay also the difference between atc and avc is equal to afc why because atc minus avc you can bring this that will be equal to afc right so the distance that is atc minus avc is equal to fc afc this is x this also has to be x so this is your cost graph that is coming from our excel analysis so also what i have done is in the excel please note that i have drawn the curve but these are not really that smooth but it gives you this this is your average fixed cost it is always reducing then your average variable cost this is the average variable cost reducing and then increasing so what you see is this blue line is your marginal cost marginal cost initially reducing and then increasing so this point is the minimum of average variable cost similarly this is cut cutting the average total cost so this point is your average total cost initially reducing and then it is increasing so this point is your minimum of average total cost that is the idea so afc it slopes downward marginal cost initially decline increases later it intersect abc and atc at their minimum points atc and abc are u shaped okay minimum point on atc is the lowest cost per unit so if you see that this is the minimum point k of atc this is the lowest cost per unit the firm should target this point okay that they will produce so the idea is not to increase the quantity the idea is to produce at the lowest cost possible 